All right. Thanks a lot, Alex. Now on Bounce, Charlotte is full of great restaurants, uh, but which ones are the best? And how can you make those dishes? at home for yourself. JCSU, Johnson C. Smith University, and Davidson College have teamed up to publish Roots Cultivating Culture. It's the book right here. Uh, stories and recipes for Charlotte's historic West End. It's a cookbook filled with Charlotte's best eats and their recipes. Chef Greg Collier over here and Maddie Marshall are here with us tonight. Thank you both for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, a little bit more about the, the mission behind this book, if you will. This is a book uh, funded by Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation and the, under the Green to Green Project, which all the proceeds from the publication goes back into the community to do different projects and come up with different initiatives. So it's a wonderful relationship that the community, Historic West End, have with uh, Johnson C. Smith mm -hmm. Davidson College. And um, the author of the book, or the editor, is Olivia uh, Strader, one of the students from Davidson. So it was their summer research project that they did. So that's how the combination goes with Johnson C. Smith and Davidson, how they got together. It's okay. summer research project. And, got you. and we came out with stories from the residents, from their me uh, memories of how they grew up and the cooking techniques and all the healthy, good food and, you know, doing some creative things. All right, and that's all in here. Okay. Yes, all, all right, uh, and you said it mentioned it goes to the community. What exactly does it go to, to helping as far as uh, community is along concerned? Along the Carter, currently, in partnership with Johnson C. Smith University, we have two community gardens, uh, one in Washington, historic Washington Heights at Nia Point, and one in Lincoln Heights. So okay. we have those community gardens, because we are addressing those particular issues of uh, "Quote unquote food food type does it, which uh, we can kind of grow our own, and then also assist with the uh, sustainability village at Johnson C. Smith in their gardens." Okay, all right. So uh, tonight we're going to make a uh, one of the recipes, right, from the from the book. Okay. Yes. What what are we making, Chef Collie? So we're making a uh, salmon croquettes. Salmon real, croquettes. Real classic. A real southern classic. favorite. Right? Absolutely. There you go. Yeah, all right. So uh, you ready to go? Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. Where do we start? So we got the salmon. Okay. Um, it's a can or a pound. Okay. I want to say maybe a quarter cup of uh, peppers, onions, and celery. Okay. A little bit of Cajun seasoning, Old <laughs> Bay. Got to get a little bit of, got a little bit of Old, got, old Bay. Is a, got, I mean, it's, it's always put a, there, yeah. Put a kick in that. Two eggs. Didn't it fell down. Really. Lightly whisked. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cornmeal. Yes, sir. Cornmeal help, kind of helps it stay together, Absolutely, right? binds it. The egg and the cornmeal yeah. binds it. So, okay. we'll mix that up real good. And the salmon does have bones in it. It's okay. one of those things I couldn't eat as a baby. All right, okay. I had to get hands off. It got a little bones in it. But you can eat, if you're a grown person, you can eat it. So. You chop right through it. Uh-huh, chop right you, okay. through it. Right. So um, what you're shooting for is, I always say Miss, Miss Maddie about, mm -hmm. Pat is about that size right there. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then you drop size, it in the, Yes. Yeah. And okay. drop them in the pan. We already got some ready for you. We're going to pull out the oven. And this is your recipe, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, Miss Maddie's. So uh, we're going to do some. Yeah, little... we have quite a few recipes in here from the uh, the neighbors and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can have one recipe, oxtail. Had the oil already going in there and you had the egg. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's a little brown. Oh, you kind of you you uh, heating it a little bit. Okay. So we just, uh, we're just doing salmon and grits and eggs. Some a breakfast classic. That just sounds delicious. I mean, I've had it before. My mother's cooked it many times. It's very wow. good. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, that looks good. Mm -hmm. I hope I did it right, Miss Man. You got to live up to your, to your yes, recipe, yes, right? Yes. Is it hard watching somebody else make your recipe? When is that? Because that tough. No. Is it, do you want to jump in and say no? Stop. I think that's the uh, creativity of our. A lot of the soul food cooking, we all can put a little spin to it. Right, okay. A little creativity to it and come out with some great stuff. All right. A little room allowed to go on top. Oh, man, that looks oh, fantastic. Oh, yes. wow. All right. Wow. Am, I, am I supposed to be tasting a little bit? Absolutely. Okay. Please. Well, let me go right in here because I, I still got to do the rest of the show, but I, I still always have a little time for this. Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's got the grits on in the bottom yes, there, too. Yes, sir. You set it right on top of there. It's not going to burn me, is it? Okay? So down. Mm. Yeah, you like you can you can have mm. it. Mm. Mm. That is, shut up your shut, shut your, your mouth. mouth. And see, that's shut. that's just Miss Maddie's recipe. I just made it. And we have so many others in here. Uh, if anyone is interested in purchasing it, you can get it from Amazon.com 
or you can, um, you know, any of the online book publications. Okay. And Publishers. If, and if you want more information, you can log on to WBTV.com. We've got information about how to do that. Look at the web extra section right there on the home page. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. All right. Time to get back over to Alex. Okay.